Hi, this is uh, Sir Bren and I am here to present a tutorial about correlation and linear regression in SPSS. We have here a, a problem. So, so we have a 20 observations and in each observation we recorded the sound level in decibels and its blood pressure rise. Okay. So here we are tasked to find if there's a relationship between two factors sound level and blood pressure rise at alpha 0 0.05 which is the level of significance at 95% confidence interval so let's start all you have to do is to highlight this then copy paste press ctrl C then go to our SPSS data view and then control V as you can notice that we have not yet uh, changed the label so we are going here at the variable view in the first row change this into observations then set the decimal into zero and it's measured as nominal for the second row which is our predictor variable or our independent variable change this as sound level set its decimal to zero then measure in scale and then in the third row which is our criteria variable or the dependent variable change this as blood pressure rise so BP rise then set the decimal into zero and also measure is in scale let's get back to the data view we will first treat this by correlation go to analyze correlate and by vary we transfer sound level and blood pressure rise into the variables so correlation coefficient is set in by default Pearson then we click OK so this dialog box appears we can see in here that it has a correlation coefficient of 0.865 or 86.5 percent which uh, determines its strong positive correlation so, and then we have the significant significance value as less than 0 0.01 so since it has a strong positive correlation we will proceed for the regression analysis so at data view we go to analyze again and then regression go to linear and then as we say we have the dependent variable as the BP rise and the sound level which is our independent or predictor variable here and just click OK 
important here is the modal summary we can see the R value the Pearson's R as 0.865 or 86.5 percent it has a strong positive correlation and then, and then we have the R square value adjusted R square and standard error of the estimate and here at the ANOVA table we can see that the predictor line has a, a slope of 0.174 and a uh, intercept of negative 10.132 thank you very much hope you have learned from this lesson don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Goodbye.